Hi there. Now for this question, we've just got to find the integral then of x times e to the power 4x with respect to x. And to do this, because we've got a product of two different functions here, we need to use integration by parts. So remember, the integration by parts formula, which you generally see in most formula books, is given by this. If you're unsure of how to use this, do check out my video tutorials on various examples. Now, looking at this one here, I'm going to take the u part, okay, as x, so we'll have that as u, purely because I know that when I differentiate this down here, this is going to go to 1, and it's just going to leave me with a very simple integral. And that means that e to the power 4x, okay, will be my dv by dx. So just put that as dv by dx. So I'm just going to go straight into this then. Put an intro, intro so say therefore the integral of x e to the power 4x integrated with respect to x then is equal to u. I always say it's one part, by, by the way, one part times the integral of the other part, that's that bit there, minus the integral, okay, of the part you just integrated times the differential of this part, the other part, okay? So going with that, okay, we've just got one part, that's the x, multiplied by the integral of the other part. So if you integrate e to the power 4x, you're going to get a quarter, e to the power 4x. And then it's minus the integral of the part you just integrated. So I just copy that back in again. That's a quarter, e to the power 4x. And then I multiply that by the differential of the first part. Okay, differential of x with respect to x is just 1. I'll put that in like that and then we integrate all of that with respect to x. Next line is just a cleaning up line, okay? So for this term here, I'm just going to write x over 4 e to the power 4x. And for this one here, I'm just going to pull out the constant here as minus a quarter, and then the integral of e to the power 4x times the 1, that's just the integral of e to the power 4x with respect to x then. I always believe in that when I'm doing integration by parts. Just do the first part and then clean it up and then move on to this integral down here. So we've got the first term here, x over 4, e to the power 4x and then it's minus and if I integrate e to the power 4x it's a quarter e to the 4x again times it with this minus a quarter here, and we end up with minus 1 16th e to the power 4x. And then don't forget the constant of integration. I'll call it plus c. All right?